Bereshis bara lokim es hashamayim v'yasaretz. There is no parsha more universal and more panoramic than Parshas Bereshis. It describes not just Homo sapiens, how they were created, but the entire universe, the entire cosmos. It's cosmological. Planets, skies, waters, upper waters, humanity at large. And yet, in the first Pasuk, our Chazal already tilt the narrative from a universal narrative to a national narrative. From a broad discussion of humanity to a parochial conversation about Am Yisrael. Bereshis bar Elokim, Rashi quotes the Medrash, Bishvil Yisrael Shenik Bereshis. The entire universe, as expansive and as sweeping as it is, was created for the Jewish people. Veruach Elokim, Merachefes al Pnehamayim, despite all the chaos and the void, the emptiness and the abyss, the spirit of Mashiach, Veruach Elokim, Merachefes al Pnehamayim, before any human being was created, before that extension to a universalism, Mashiach, his spirit was accounted for. Mashiach ben David, et semach David avdecha mehera setzmiach. It's important that these two narratives be fused. Parshas Bereshis describes the original plan of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, for all of humanity to be exposed in an unmediated fashion to the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Every human being is gifted with selim elokim, with consciousness, with emotions, with cognitive capacity, with intellectual or creative speech, nefesh mimalala, as Uncle says. Unfortunately, man failed. And man failed repeatedly. And some of those failures are on display in Bracious, the expulsion from Gan Eden, Cain's condemned, or Cain being condemned to roam the earth, the moral dissolution at the end of Parshas Bracious, then, of course, the aftermath of that moral deterioration, the flooding of humanity, the population dispersal in the end of Parshas Noach. We read Bracious and Noach in two weeks. And it takes us a very short amount of time proportionate to the rest of the Torah. Parshas Bracious and Noach chronicle 2,000 years of human history. At which point the Kaddish Baruch Hu shifted human experience and no longer could he rely on humanity to understand him in an unmediated fashion. After 2,000 years of repeated failure, he had to select one people to represent him in this world and to broadcast his will, the concept of monotheism, the pursuit of a moral experience and existence, to broadcast it to society at large. But our selection has a universal agenda. We're not selected for privilege. We're not selected for indulgence. We're selected for mission. We're selected to be his delegates and to spread his word. And Bracious distills those two thrusts. There's a huge expansive universe, both of human beings and of Hashem's other creation, or His broader creation, which we are meant to affect by our national and parochial experience, by our Torah, by our Chesed, by the type of state we build, and the ability to calibrate between our national identity and our universal identity is crucial. We live in a very, very polarized world. I live in the West Bank. Our yeshiva is in the West Bank. Baruch Hashem, we're exerting and investing in a very national agenda to settle our land. But that agenda has to be tagged and tethered to a broader sense of drawing HaKadosh Baruch Hu's presence into our world and affecting humanity and augmenting the welfare of the human condition at a universal level. We live in a broken world in which our national agenda appears for many or too many to clash with our universal interests. The world is not yet perfect enough to appreciate the inner harmony between the two. And Rabbi Akiva captured this. Chavev Adam Shenivra B'Tselem. Every human being has a Tselem Elokim. Nasa Adam B'Tselmeinu Kid Musenu. Every human being has to be respected. It's not as if those who aren't Jews are merely straw men without any role or function in this broad world of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Chaviv and Yisrael Shenek Rubanim. But Am Yisrael aren't just gifted with Tselem Elokim. They were selected for an intimate relationship with Hashem and an intimacy which empowered them to this historical challenge of representing Hashem in this world. So it's important to be able to read Bereshis as if there are two narratives. Bereshis bar Elokim, Veruch Elokim a universal cosmological sweep and framework to understand the creation of our universe. But within that creation, HaKadosh Baruch Hu infused a unique and special role 
an unparalleled role for Ruach Elokim, for Bishvil Yisrael Shinik Rubrashis, so that that world would not just have a material reality, but a spiritual substrate, the presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which Hashem had hoped could exist naturally and could be disseminated in an unmediated fashion. Unfortunately, history took a turn in the end of Parshas Noach, the great shift, but that shift was merely a methodological shift about how HaKadosh Baruch Hu's presence should be spread. But the notion that we were chosen for a universal role and we accomplished that universal role through our national and, and particular behavior is deeply, deeply embedded in the dual narrative of Parshas Barashas.